Praise the Lord. Thank you for being with me. You can make it through this day. There is a way. Yes. <laughs> the, the sun is lifting. Let the sun lift your head in hope. Know that you are wonderfully and fearfully made. That's because God made you in His image like you to have a relationship with you. To be at the heart of the matter. I just hit <laughs> these hearts. To have a love relationship with us. And Jesus loves you. God loves you. And in one of our memory verses, God proves it. Uh, John 3, 16 through 18. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth in him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this scripture verse, I'm thrilled that I finally got it. Well, you'll see if I got it or not. <laughs> Notice we got new snow. See my snow droning out there? See a little hole, I think? Oh, can you see a little hole? I don't know. There's a little table there with a hole in it. I call it my snow donut. Fresh snow, with sparkling diamonds. So, the name Jesus, we've, uh, we know that Jesus means the Lord saves. Yahweh saves, Jehovah saves, God saves, it means all those things, Jesus, the Lord saves. There's no other name under heaven by which we must be saved. And that's in this verse here, and it's in Acts uh, chapter 3, okay, chapter, chapter 4, verses 10 through 12. And uh, here it is, and this is... Uh, this is, as I told in another message, that uh, this is right after uh, God, Jesus being in heaven, after he, he died on the cross, he was buried, he rose from the dead, and he ascended into heaven where, where Jesus is now with the Father, where, he, where Jesus will be coming some back, day some back, back some day, to bring us home with him, to give us a new body like his. So that's where Jesus was in heaven with the Father. And Peter and John were going on proclaiming this great Jesus they knew as the Messiah. Jesus, the Son of God, who was God the Son. And Peter and John were proclaiming that. And they were proclaiming the resurrection of Jesus that he rose from the dead. And the rulers didn't like it. The rulers that were responsible for crucifying Jesus, along with Pilate and the Roman, Roman uh, general, governor, so uh, they were proclaiming the resurrection of Jesus, and, uh, and they threw, uh, Jesus used them to heal the crippled man who was crippled from birth. And so they addressed the people who, couldn't, who didn't uh, believe uh, in, in Jesus. And they said to him this, recorded it in Acts, uh, Acts uh, <laughs> 4, verses 10 through 12. Oh boy. Oh, that's a beautiful son. Let it be known. Let it be known to you. They were addressing the people who were, who were responsible for, for killing Jesus. All right? Let it be known to you. <laughs> Let it be known to all of you and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus of Nazareth. By the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, this man is standing before you well. That, that crippled man was standing before them well. He was standing. Standing before you well. This Jesus is the stone that was rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. And there is salvation in no other name, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. All right, how did I do? <laughs> Here we go. Acts 4, 10 through 12. Let it be known to all of you 
and to all the people of Israel, that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who, oh, I forgot this part. I did forget this part. Oh, <laughs> this part I forgot, I'm sorry. Whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead, by him, this man is standing before you well. This Jesus is the stone that was rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. And there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Uh, under the camera I folded. <laughs> I'll keep working on that, oh Lord, but let's pray with me. I thank you, O oh Lord God. There is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. And I thank you, Jesus. You came out of eternity, you came out of heaven to die on a cross for our sins. Thank you, Jesus, for taking our sins upon your body all those who would accept your, your gifts by faith, even a faith that you give us, O oh Lord God, that you took our sin upon your body, Jesus. Well, you took the sin of all the world upon you, but you took the sins away of all who would believe that you did this for, for us. You died the death we deserve for our own sin, punishment we deserve for our own sin, Jesus. A cruel death. To wash us white as snow. To take our way our sins so that we can have our relationship with you now and forever. I just thank you for that, Jesus. I thank you that you live today and that you live inside us. Live inside us, Jesus. You do through the Holy Spirit. Rule our life. May we give our life every day to you because you gave your life for us to save us from hell and give us life with you forever. Help us to love you always. You love us. That you die on a cross for us and rose from the dead to live it with us. That's how much you love us. May we just rejoice in your creation. May it lift our head in hope and know that we can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. I praise you and I thank you, Lord. Thank you for your sparkling diamond field of, in the snow. I pray, we pray in your name, Jesus, our Lord and Savior. The Prince, pray the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Stay in God's word, keep memory verses, fellowship with other Christians, and always fellowship with God. God's word lifts our heads in hope. Praise God. Thank you for being with me. Jesus loves you.